Hey guys, this is Amjumit with another tutorial about setting up and creating customer profile in QuickBooks Nextall. Well, as business owners, we sell our products and services to people we call customers. And it's important to add our customers into our accounting system so that we can keep track of every business activity we do with them. Well, before adding customer profile, it's a good idea to define whether what type of customer we are entertaining and what would be the payment method or terms. So to set up these things one by one, click on list menu and select customer type list. Well, QuickBooks has already added a few types here and if you are okay with them, just leave it as it is. And if you need to add more, just select new under customer type and write your customer type and click on OK. Here you can see that the new customer type has been added to the list. Moreover, if you want, you can make a subtype of your customer type too. And if you want to keep your customer list concise, then either delete or inactive the ones you don't use. So instead of deleting, I'm making them inactive. Now to add payment terms, select terms list in the list menu. Well a bunch of terms have already been added here and I'm pretty much fine with them but still I'm going to create one by selecting new in the terms drop down. Now, just write your term name and specify it in the remaining fields. Like the full amount will be due in 40 days, but 3% discount will be provided if the payment is made in 5 days. And then click on OK and here you can see that a new payment term has been added to the list. Now to add payment method, go back to the list menu and select payment method list. Like other lists. We see some already added here too, but looking at the list, I can delete or inactive gift card method which I don't use for the time being. And whenever I will start using that method too, I can come here and make it active again by checking this checkbox and clicking on the cross sign. And if you want to add some default message on the invoice, you can create that too by going to the customer message list and selecting new under customer message. Here just add your message and click on OK. And here you can see that the new message has been added in the already populated list of messages. Well we have set up a few things that will help us make better decisions in future relevant to the customer. And now let's add a customer by going to the customer center. Here you can see that there is no customer added in the customer center yet and to add one click on the new customer and job drop down and select new customer. Here just fill the primary information about the customer like customer name and if you have any existing balance with this customer just add that here. His or her company name, phone, mobile, fax number, email, website and invoice to and ship to addresses etc. Now click on the payment setting tab and here we can add the customer's account number, payment terms which we set up earlier, preferred delivery and payment methods and credit card info. Moreover we can add some credit limit for this customer and even we can create price ranges but this will be covered in future tutorials. Now click on sales tax settings tab. Here the tax related fields have been grayed out and it's just because we haven't added any taxable products so far. Anyhow, click on additional info tab. Here we can select the customer type which we set up earlier and you can assign a rep for this customer if you have employed one. Moreover, if you want to create some default fields for this customer, click on this tab and create one by filling these fields. And if you have a specific job concerning to this customer, you can put that in the job info tab and track it separately. 
Now go through the information again to make sure that you have added all the required information and then just click on OK to create your first customer profile. Now our customer profile has been created and here is the snapshot of this customer information. Anyhow, here we have some tabs related to this customer. All the business transactions with this customer will appear under transaction tab, which we also can filter according to our needs. And under contacts tab, we can add primary and secondary contacts too. And to add contacts, click on the manage contacts and select add new. Here, just fill the concern fields and after making it a primary or secondary contact in the contact type field, click on save and close button and if you want to create another one then click on save and new button and to keep in touch with the customer it would be a good idea to create a to-do list about that customer whether it's about future projects or current ones moreover some certain notes can also be created under notes tab Anyhow, our customer profile has been created and up next we will see whether how we can add it, inactive and or delete a customer profile and I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.